you could call it running away from your problems or you could call it starting again this is why leaving your hometown is probably one of the best decisions you can make and is one of the best decisions i ever made so i grew up in england and moved to scotland in 2015. And why did I move here? Well, I was unhappy. I always felt bad whenever I was there. I felt like I had no friends. I felt like just unhappy. Nothing about the place made me happy when I was there. Newsflash, you don't have to stay in places that make you feel bad if you don't want to. That's the amazing thing about life is that you can do whatever you want within reason. Like how cool is that? You can just go anywhere you want to go if you can and if you want to and it's led me to a place like this today. I didn't know this place existed. <laughs> Moving away gave me the opportunity to fend for myself and to try to make it on my own in a place that I'd never been before as an 18 year old girl. And it wasn't easy. It was definitely the, one of the hardest things I've ever done. But I learned so many lessons, life lessons, that I feel you don't get those when you live in your hometown. My problems didn't go away because I left. In fact, my problems, in a way, got worse. But it had to get worse to get better. I think a lot of people worry about people leaving your life, you know, friends and family, your whole support network that's in the place that you're from. And leaving that is very hard. What I found to be true is the people that want to be in your life, that truly care and truly want to be there for you, will stay. It'll just be another means of talking to them. And you won't see them maybe as much as you'd like, but they'll still be there. They're not going to leave. And the people that do leave, people grow, people move on. And that's okay. And just because you leave doesn't mean you can't go back. If you really miss everyone, you can just move back. <laughs> I know I make it sound so easy. I don't mean to trivialize it this way, but I know it's not always that easy. It can be. Why do we have to complicate life so much? What I think is truly the most amazing thing about moving away and starting a new life somewhere else is that right now, I love my life. I've never had so much freedom, never had so much authority over my own life, my own journey and career health, everything. Everything is my choice now. And I'm so privileged to be in this situation, I understand that. But it it was all my own hard work. I brought myself here, I got myself here. Life is good. <laughs> Life is good.
a lot of people grow up in a bubble. They have everything inside this little bubble where they grow up. They have their family, they have their school, the shops they go to, the people they meet, the roads they drive down. Everything is in this bubble. And what you have to realise is that out of the bubble is a big wide world full of opportunity, full of people to meet, full of new exciting places to go, things to see and experience. A lot of people just stay. Leaving's not easy. Being away is not easy. But the life that you build for yourself, the experiences you have for yourself, are things that make life so amazing. Sometimes I wonder what my life would have been like if I had stayed where I grew up. If I had kept the same friends, kept the same job. Would I be as happy? Would I be as fulfilled as I am right now? And that's why I think leaving your hometown is one of the best decisions you should make. But it's also definitely one of the hardest. Converse were a bad idea for this beach trip. So many people are staring at me. Ah! <laughs> oh my lord. That was a run.